Welcome to a day in the life. And yes, this is what my hair looks like in the morning. Normally, somebody would be bouncing all over the walls, but somebody has baby on board and normal 5.30 wake up times have become 8.30 wake up times. Ready to tackle the day? Go, go, go. <laughs> Uh, not so much. Currently in Goodlitzville, it's 36 degrees and sunny. No, at least it's sunny. That makes me happy. <sighs> that is cold. Okay, now while Lauren slowly crawls out of bed, there's something I do routinely every single morning without fail. And that is... dash of cinnamon. Just picking up the airstream because living in a small space gets messy. Yeah, did you make the bed? Yeah. Is that like something you do every day? Pretty much. How long have you been making your bed? Since fifth grade. Fifth grade? Yeah. Oh, I've learned something new today. <laughs> did your parents make you do it? <laughs> yeah. But I move a lot slower in the mornings lately. Yeah? Why is that? Baby on board. <laughs> yeah? And how far along is baby? 18 weeks. 18 weeks? Yeah. So exciting. I need tea. <laughs> Let's get you some tea. Okay. Matcha! Daniel says that this tea tastes like grass, but I love it. Did you make a butterfly on top? No, I can't make her. Oh, you got something. Oh, there's something going on there. Yeah. Yeah. No, coffee art. it's bad. <laughs> it's just a coffee blob. Looks like a big heart. Is that what you were going for? Definitely, right? Yeah. Hands down, the best coffee I've had all morning. Time to get out our computers. So, some days we go for a run. This morning, I just did good getting out of bed. I also prefer to read for about 30 minutes, but again, since I got up so late, I don't have time for that. Typically, after I've had my coffee first thing in the morning, I go straight to the interwebs. I typically try to read a few industry articles. Because we're in the marketing advertising space, it changes so fast. So it's sort of required reading every single morning just to see what's changed. And after that, I'll go through and I'll check my schedule, make sure I have everything prepped for the upcoming meetings for the day. After I've checked my email and I make sure there's nothing crazy going on, I start to get ready for the day, which includes getting dressed. Except if I'm working from the trailer, let's be honest, if I'm doing that and I have video calls, 
I'm getting dressed from the waist up, maybe from the waist down. Still keeping on my comfy pants, you know. Don't necessarily need to put on dress pants when you're working from the Airstream trailer. One of the biggest headaches we had when we first started working from the road in the Airstream was internet. And we get questions about this all the time. So we're actually pretty lucky. At the campground we're at right now, which is Grand Old RV Resort in Nashville, I'll put a link to our video of favorite campgrounds. It's one of the best. But it actually has decent internet. That being said, that's like one in every 25 to 30 campgrounds. So we have our own wireless hotspot. And we use a company that is local, of course, and they're called Bix Wireless. We have an unlimited package with them, which allows us not only to work from the RV, from basically anywhere, but it also allows us to upload videos like these, which are humongous files. So we're really heavy internet users and it works great. I'll throw another link here so that you can see the video to learn more about Bix in case you've run into the same problem with internet on the road. So I am going to get ready for the day, unlike Daniel, but first I have a team meeting. And in order to make that work in the Airstream, it is really important from working on the road that you have a seriously good set of noise canceling headphones. This is one of the ways that Daniel and I are able to actually do meetings at the same time and it works like a charm. All right, ready for the day, but since we got up so late, we didn't end up eating breakfast, which is kind of bad, but we're just gonna make it an early lunch. But look, the baby bump is starting to come in. <laughs> Yummy! With lunch complete, it's basically time to break the laptops back out and handle afternoon meetings. So, it's already 4.11, and if you had seen what we did all day, this is pretty much it. We hung out on our computers and did a whole lot of meetings and a whole lot of typing, which is pretty dull. So, you may also have noticed that we haven't actually gotten out of the Airstream yet today. About this time, Daniel will poke me and say, hey, let's go for a walk and take out the trash. And so, that's what we do. Take a walk. If you've seen our Airstream Pottery Barn walkthrough, then you'll remember that it has a much bigger garbage can than what comes in our Airstream Classic. And because unfortunately, this is like half of the size, we have to take out the trash a little more frequently than we'd like to. <sighs> Outside. Almost walked out of the door without securing my little safety lock from No Locks. Huge fan, if you haven't seen that video, our friend installed it at the Airstream International Rally and he is a lifesaver because of this small device. We have locked ourselves out zero times since installing it. When you see and hang out with us like today for a day in our working life, there are some things that happen in advance and behind the scenes before we actually get a day started. So for example, like every Sunday, Daniel and I will sit down, we take a look at our calendars and we compare our meeting schedules. And it's really critical because we have such a small space, we have to make sure that we don't have any major meeting overlaps. I like to do on Sundays is I like to map out three separate lists. I've got one for Wander Local, which is everything Wander Local, two 
for the company. The company's name is Symphony, in case you haven't been tuning in. And three for the other business, which is Fernandez business. And that lately has taken a priority, especially with new baby on the way. So with those three lists in mind, that's how I tackle the week. I don't know <laughs> if you can see it on camera or not, but you can see our breath. So our working remote from the Airstream is really different during the winter even than it is in the summer. Because, well, when it's cold outside, it's just not as fun to get out. At least not from a working perspective. In the summer, we'll sit at the picnic table, take work calls, enjoy the sun. And we definitely go for more walks. Yeah. Yeah. So that part of our day to day is really impacted by the fact that it's cold. Priorities definitely shift when it gets cold. And one of the main priorities lately has been making sure that we have all the propane we need <laughs> for the radiant heating system because you don't want to run out of propane. Truth. <laughs> so with that being said, I think we walked maybe 10 minutes, which is kind of embarrassing and sad because in the summer we would walk maybe 30 to 45 minutes. It was freaking cold. It's so, so cold. We're going back into the Airstream. And by cold, just uh, to add some context, it's been hitting the 20s. Uh, that's pretty cold. <laughs> for us, at least. For us, at least. On an average workday, after we get out and go for a walk, we go right back at it for a couple more hours in front of the computer before we'll start thinking about what we're going to do for dinner. It's roughly 8-ish o'clock, and Lauren's still grinding it's away. It's not 8 o'clock. What time is it? It's 5.49. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so it gets super dark here super early. <laughs> it feels like eight o'clock, maybe even midnight, but I guess it's not really that late. Um, but this guy right here is hungry, so I'm gonna go pick us up some food from a local restaurant around here. Just made it to a place called Tasty Greek Cafe. It's a small and locally owned shop and they have some really good Greek food. They get some up to go. Time to head back to the camper. We love this little Greek place, Tasty Bye. They have the best baklava. We do try to avoid eating out every evening, cool. but right now is the end of the year and that means it's really busy at work. So this is pretty typical. Also another fun fact, this campground served pizza. Like they make the pizzas on site. They offer breakfast, dinner. Do they have lunch? I think it's breakfast and dinner. Okay, so it's breakfast, dinner, awesome. They ran out of hummus, so I literally had to make it fresh. Nice. <laughs> Lucky for you, I'm about to teach you the proper baklava eating technique as taught to me by my Greek friends. First, you start with a fork, and then you pick it up with your hands and you eat it. So as you can tell from Daniel's silly behavior, we've had a long work day. Like I mentioned, since it's the end of the year, it's not really gonna end anytime soon. Typically, after we eat, we would probably watch some sort of nerdy sci-fi TV show and then read a book, go to bed. But tonight's gonna be a long one from a work perspective and it's not exactly all that entertaining. So, it's pretty much time to call it a day. Until the next time, guys. Make sure you wander local this week, because as you know, it's good for the soul. <laughs>